Hello, everyone. Welcome to Cooking with Chef Jeff. I'm Chef the Jeff. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm Jeff Chef. I'm Jeff the Chef. I mean, Chef Jeff. Chef Jeff. And, well, technically, I guess I'm not a real chef. But I've seen every episode of Cutthroat Kitchen and Chopped. So I know what I'm doing. Plus, this is a real chef's hat. I found a good deal on Amazon. This week, we are going to be making Grandpa's homestyle chili. It's healthy, hearty, full of flavor, and really easy to make. The only bad thing is it kind of gives you gas. But that's all part of the fun. Here's the ingredients that we'll need today. You need chili powder, and lots and lots of it, a pound of ground beef, two cans of kidney beans, tomato, an onion, and some bell peppers. Also, we got a few jalapenos here to add a little spice and heat, if you can handle it. Alrighty, let's get cooking. First, we need a cooking pot, and I've got something special today. This is a one-of-a-kind, vintage, ceramic, Dutch oven-style cooking pot. I bought this bad boy just for today's show. It is now the most expensive item in this kitchen. Whoa. <gasps> oh, no. You can also cook chili in any old regular pot like this. Okay, so first, let's chop up all our veggies here. Sorry, everybody. I always cry when I'm chopping onions. When I was a kid, you see, I had a pet named Mr. Fluffers, a little hamster. I fed him an onion ring, but I didn't know he was allergic to onions. We rushed him to the vet, but it was too late. There was nothing they could do. Oh God, Mr. Fluffers. <laughs> It's okay. I'm fine, everybody. I'm okay. Let's just move on. All right. I will now use my super smash technique. Now viewers, this is a very advanced cooking maneuver. I wouldn't recommend this for beginning level cooks. This is why I always keep bandages around when I'm cooking. It's important to be prepared. Okay, now just turn on the heat and throw everything in the pot.
And now it's time to add some spice, some salt and pepper here, and tons of chili powder. And this is the special ingredient today. Super hot cayenne powder. This stuff is so spicy, it will set you on fire. But it's okay. I like to live on the wild side. I have another bottle of hot sauce here too. I'm just gonna dump this in there. I know this may seem dangerous, but keep in mind, I am a professional. Okay, just mix it all up in there. Let it simmer for about a half hour and that's it. So now we just wait for our chili to cook up. One thing I like to do while I'm waiting is sing some songs. <clears throat> Ready? Beans, beans, the magical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. Beans are great, making some chili. Then get down like a silly hillbilly. Oh, beans, beans, the magic fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. Two bottles of root beer on the wall. Two bottles of root beer. Take one down and pass it around. And now we have one bottle of root beer on the wall. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Wasn't that fun? Now let's check on that chili. It should be done by now. Sometimes it tastes better than it smells. Let's just give it a try. Let's set the table. some good chili, just like Grandpa used to make. Excuse me, folks. I need to use the restroom. And our final lesson today, if all else fails, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches always make a good meal. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed the show today. Thanks everybody for watching. See you next time. Bone appetite. <laughs>